Excited to announce that the talented Dutch studio Nixus Software will be joining PlayStation Studios. It's a real pleasure to welcome a team with such deep technical expertise and vast experience to the PlayStation family. No one wants a neck back. Bitch, no one wants a neck box. It don't matter the services or T-flops. You can keep that little game pass. We good, bro. If you ain't focus on games, then what you good for? No one. You realize the irony is this company is known for great PC ports, right? You mean no one will want the PlayStation soon? Yeah, they will. Remember, consoles cost one fifth of the cost of a PC with the same amount of processing power. <sighs> Copium. I hope you guys aren't going the Xbox route with day and date with PC. You lose a lot of PlayStation fans. <laughs> if they were bought to make more PC ports, then what is the reason to buy a PlayStation if someone already has a good PC? There is no reason. They just killed their Brand and legacy. Take it so far, God, you know, in two years. Ah! Nixus joining PlayStation. Official PR. Nixus will be a strong asset for everyone across PlayStation Studios, helping our teams focus on their most important goal, which is to create unique PlayStation content at the best possible quality. Which is to create unique PlayStation content at the best possible quality. So, no PC ports, but new PlayStation games. Good. Good. <laughs> Copy of Stalker 2 is timed exclusive! <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima's box has been updated to remove only on PlayStation, as Days Gone and Horizon did previously, sparking PC port speculation. No! This is not good news! This is corporate BS! Pure greed! And PC players are quack! And should not get to play these games! <laughs> Sony has been the good guy long enough to turn into the bad guy. IDC, if it goes to PC, but this bogus exclusivity and we believe in generation stuff is just scummy. They think the fans are dip <laughs> Um, nothing to be worried about. Um, they are just, um, redesigning the PlayStation 4 boxes to match the PlayStation 5 style. None of the boxes on the PlayStation 5 are exclusive, say, only on PlayStation. Um, it's common sense that they are PlayStation exclusive. People worry too much. <laughs> oh, boy, this copy is so good. Oh, this is the stuff, man. <laughs> Uh, it's okay to let go of the mid games first. <laughs> the overwhelming majority of the PC cook <laughs> got him. Community parts them. The downside of releasing single player games on PC. At this point, why buy a PlayStation console? All of the exclusives are going to PC anyways. Good job, PlayStation, shooting yourself in the foot. People who are on the fence about buy a PlayStation console will not buy one now. And just wait for the games to come to PC. <laughs> I am definitely not. Angry. <laughs> yep, I feel that way too. I've been saying for months that once Ragnarok gets a proper reveal announcement, the first Dad of War will be announced for PC. The Master Racers? <laughs> Waited three plus years for that one. Surely they'll just wait again for Ragnarok. I agree with you completely. The mustard races. <laughs> <laughs> Love it so original, dude. <laughs> That will show up! PlayStation 5 plus PC plus Switch equals best combo. All you need is PlayStation 5 only! Real gamer, play on PlayStation only! It's all there, believe it. Xbox All Access is the best of next-gen Xbox. All for one monthly price. It's all there. Next-gen console games friends for one price. Uh, wait, hold on guys. Okay, but no exclusive AAA title games. The only new game that came out to Xbox was the medium. And that game was supposed to come out for all gen on all platforms. So it doesn't count. Xbox fanboys are so obsessed with the power narrative because that's the only thing they have. <laughs> Just imagine what would have happened if the position 5 was more powerful. Xbox would be no power, no games, no exclusives. <laughs> Let's just let them enjoy their only W. <laughs> Xbox Germany apparently posted a video on their Facebook page announcing Final Fantasy VII Remake for Xbox One on March 3, 2020. Boo! Can you even explain why this is a bad thing? Because f Microsoft, although this will be like the only good game they will have on that platform in like the last three years. Ha!
A new report suggests that Hideo Kojima is making a publishing deal with Microsoft to develop a cloud-based game. Some PlayStation fanboys expressed their frustration by creating a petition against this. Cancel Kojima Xbox exclusive game! Kojima is betraying his loyal fans! He has been blinded by greed! We must help him! Come back to the winning side! Please share this petition everywhere! <laughs> Not everyone has good antenna to stream games. Not everyone has enough money to buy a new console or build a new PC. Please, Kojima! The Queen